What up guys and girls, CSS Code here. We're gonna get straight into this fantastic Melly mini computer and it's called the Quieter 2Q and it's the 81A version. Basically, it's a mini fanless PC with 4K capability, two HDMI, so dual screen output, a decent processor and already comes activated with Windows 10 Professional because we are all professionals. So we're going to do the obligatory unboxing. You are going to get a piece of paper in the top. Here is what you're waiting for. Look at that. How small is that? How small? That is ridiculous. That is absolutely fantastic. So we we'll just put the box out of the way for the mo, and then we we'll just go round the sides. On the front, you've simply just got a power on and power off button. We could simply call that the power button. By the way, you've not only got one, two, three USB ports, you have four. Then obviously you have an audio jack, you have two HDMI, and you can see there by USB-C, we have the power port, the charging port. So I'm glad we went USB-C. USB-C makes things so much easier. Then obviously we have our internet port. Looking around it, it's a nice, it's a plastic finish on top. It looks rugged. Underneath this feels metal. metal. These are obviously the uh, mounting points if you wanted to mount it on the back of your TV or on a wall. Obviously with these, the Melly Quieter 2Q, you're not gonna get any other accessories with it. You're not gonna get a keyboard, you're not gonna get a mouse or, or monitors or anything like that. This, this is what you're getting. I'll show you the other things contained in the box as well. Big hands or small screwdriver. So this is everything contained within the box. Part of the power cable, as discussed, USB-C. These are your mounting brackets, which can go onto the back of your device if you want to mount them. Obviously completely up to you. Then we have the obligatory adapters for whatever country you're in. It's good that they supply both. So if you were going abroad, you could take this abroad so this is like the uk three pin version find the locking port audible click and you are good to go like i say we have got usb-c which i'm really really glad that we've got and that is it i say that is it you've got more than enough in this little box. Quick specs rundown, although we are gonna see it once we actually launch the Windows 10 Pro Edition, which has already been pre-installed and activated. Obviously, Windows 10 Pro Intel Celeron processor J4125. We have eight gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM. We have 128 gigabyte eMMC. Obviously the wireless network is 802.11 dual band. So it is gonna give you the 2.4 and the up to 5.8 gigahertz. Bluetooth 4.2, four USB 3 ports, which we've seen, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And I did actually miss out. You've got a micro SD card slot there. Just serial number and information on the back and they can see the Windows 10 license. So, let's get this plugged in, let's get this set up, and let's see what this can do. Right, let's get into the crux of it. Let's see what you actually get on this mini PC, and we are also gonna be doing some tests as well. So I've downloaded some documents, like a half a million line Excel spreadsheet. We've also got some games in there. We've got benchmark tests from Geekbench 5. So let's let's just have a, a little look at what you get inside the box. So you can see at the moment, we've still got 78.7 gigabyte free of 114 gig. That's because I've downloaded some stuff on here so we can actually test it and run it. I will add that I am just recording this on a 1920 by 1080 because that is the max resolution of my monitor at the moment. But remember, it will go to 4K resolution. 
You can see in here we have eight gigabyte of uh, installed RAM, which is 7.83 uh, gigabyte usable. Obviously product ID, device name, the processor, the Intel Celeron, the J4125 at two gigahertz. Uh, and I think it actually peaks at 2.03 gigahertz. We'll check that on our Geekbench tests in a moment. We have obviously Windows 10 Pro already activated as well. So we are good to go. As you've seen from the setup, there is, you don't need to enter any of those, you know, like 28 digit codes or whatever they were. So now obviously it does come pre-installed with loads of stuff, but you will need to go into your store and then obviously download all the updates because you don't know when they were first installed and if it's been sitting in a box for about six months, then obviously updates were pushed and you're gonna to need to download them all. So you can either just update them all, give it about 10 minutes after connecting to a network to actually see all these updates that are gonna be pushed through to uh, to your quieter too. Obviously you can see the things that I have installed here and yes, that is pretty much, we are good to go. Remember you do have full access to absolutely everything in the Microsoft Store from gaming, entertainment, productivity and deals. So, boom, let's get to that. Uh, first impressions, by the way, this is a pretty nifty little PC and it hands the, handles the graphics actually not too bad at all. I have tried it on high, low and medium graphics or high, medium and low graphics. So let's go in some tests here. So here we have a 15 megabyte dock for Windows. Obviously you can get the free version of Windows, which gives you about seven days trial. But we can see from scratch, I didn't have it open before. And these are like real world tests. I don't want to enter my product key because obviously we have a few more days. So this was a 15 megabyte document. You can see it opened very, very easily. Uh, by the way, uh, yeah, this uh, this is, I don't know whether it's Laura Mipsum or just actually in a foreign language, but you can see it handles everything smoothly as well. So I'm just showing you real world uses. So if we enable edit here now, and I would love to be able to type that quick, but I can't. But now for a really good test, you can see no Excel document is open. We have a 500,000 line test. Now, this will probably struggle on the, the, the best of systems, but this one's all right. Do I want to open it anyway? Yes, I do. Open up my 500,000 lines of Excel and I'll show you that it's 500,000 lines of Excel. So, a couple of seconds in, we're at 50%. Remember, this is the most extreme. You, if you're doing 500,000 line Excel document, then there's gonna be some better software to use out there if, if you're doing that. So let's just do some quick lineups. Let's, let's just make everything a bit more pretty. There we go. So you can see here on the left-hand side, boom, 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 we're down to 50,000 lines, all the way down to the bottom to 500,001. As you can see, look, huge, absolutely huge document. So there we go, we are in editing mode, and then once again, we can just tidy things up just to show you how quickly and everything works. Remember, this is doing 500,000 lines, and there we go, done. And we can just change this to whatever. So really, really quick and efficient. Obviously Excel, the program, works really well, but 500,000 lines, I thought it would struggle, but it's not gonna, and it isn't. You can see there. So next we're gonna do a little bit of photo editing. I like photo editing. I have downloaded some images from the net and we're gonna go into this one here. You can see everything's quick and snappy. So all we do, we'll just do um, a little bit of a spot removal, I think. She's just got some moles there. I don't know who she is, beautiful lady. So we'll just do some spot removals there. See, perfection. Well, she was perfect before, whoever you are. So what else do we wanna, yeah, just you can see, it's just, it's accurate, it's working well, it's uh, it's absolutely fine. So obviously we can have big brush. So I don't know what it's gonna do when, um... oh, 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 oh. Um... Right, so she doesn't look as pretty now, but I still think some of her features are there so 
original afterwards okay and remember obviously you can just undo 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 undo, undo, undo and go all all the way back but what we do, we'll just open up another one as well. I don't know why I closed it down, but we will open up another one. And this image is about 15 meg. It's just a sample image. It's nothing exciting, but you can see it loads up very quick. We can go into the plus button and that's just gonna give you a zoom in. in. And we can then just do some small edits to it. I'm, I'm, there you go. And on the slider, nice. We can go down to a little bit of a crop. Let's crop that in there. So we can also go into different exposure contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and we can have details and effects and anything you want. Obviously, this is a cropped image of a cloudy sky, so you're not gonna be able to do much with it, but you're getting the point that photo editing works on here, okay? And so does Excel word with extreme size records. So Geekbench scores. Let's go into the single core and multi score at the moment. This is just to show, I'm not gonna go much more into these, but you can see single core 391 and multi core score 1029. We also have some open CL scores here as well of a 971. So you can see obviously here 5.4.1, try now uh, for Windows 64 bit. The Mealy computer, the quieter two, just to show you. Oh, hello. So there's the scores for your reference. What we do now is go into a little bit of gaming. I haven't already pre-opened these. I Well, they weren't already open. So I'm gonna, yeah, naval mission. Yeah, no idea. Move mouse cursor to the center of the screen to activate. You never cease to amaze Why, thank you. By yourself, you okay. Oh, where's the boats? Oh, where's the boats? Where's the boats? The boats? Oh, there's an arrow there. Oh, there's the boats. Oh, we're coming in low. Okay, so all I'm trying to show you here is, you know, the graphics are pretty decent. These are just default, I haven't changed anything. You can see we've got nice sun flares. You know, this isn't lagging. Right, you get the point. Don't you? When Wings of War Modern Planes. Actually, the graphics on this are half decent. And the Melee Quieter 2 handles it pretty well. Battle. Let's go Iraq. Boom. Let's start. Need to wait for the previous module to be delivered before by... No idea what that means. But let's do some flying. Okay. Things look bad down there. I got, oh, plane changed. What is this, what is this plane? I don't even know what this plane is. Right. Have I got any afterburners? Have I got? Okay, so the controls are really easy, yeah. Boom! So next we are gonna go for Asphalt Legends. Now the thing with this game, it is quite intensive on the graphics. It is, because it's a beautiful game. It's great on your mobile as well. But I'll show you it on here. Remember, so screen resolution at the moment is full HD. So I'll just show you a little bit of the gameplay. Um, it's not gonna be nothing special, as in I am absolutely awful at this. I tend to use this as a default baseline.
Here we have Asphalt Legends as well. Like I say, quite a intensive on the graphic side of things, but overall it handles well. Now, obviously doing web browsing on here is gonna be absolutely flawless. You can see here, if you go to this awesome site, cssco.com, hey, that's my website, by the way, if you wanna know about a few things, anything in there, you know, we've got replacements to some popular applications from before. You can have a look down here, it is all linked. Let's have a little look on. Oh, why does it come up with those videos? These are old videos. It's like in reverse, reverse order. Um, but, yep. Yeah. As you can see, it works absolutely fine. Nothing's glitchy. And this is what you expect. Ah, oh, there's me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thanks for all the comments there, by the way. Although I'm completely out of focus there. But we got 117 likes, so yeah, thank you very much. Okay, it's not gonna be able to do anything crazy, but it's gonna be doing enough for you to just get on with your day. Play some games, do some editing, whether that be video, whether that be photography, whether that be Excel, whether that be Word. You have loads of other stuff already pre-installed. Remember, top tip, once connected, to your local network. Just give it 10 minutes for everything to be pulled through, then do all the updates, and some will obviously be important security updates. After that, you're good to go. You are Windows 10 Pro already activated, and you've got plenty of storage, eight gigabyte of RAM. If you are interested in purchasing this, Everything is going to be down in the description below, so please go check it out now. If you did find this video useful, think about sharing it, think about giving it a little like. Do whatever you want, but definitely subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next video.